<laughs> I remember, was it West Brom? Was it last game, West Brom, and Alvin gets something in his eye, a bit of dirt in his eye, and John's going, and he's going, I can't see him, and John's talking to everyone, he says, Rob, get that dirt out of his eye, and Rob poked him in the other eye. <laughs> <laughs> and Alvin's going, I can't see, <laughs> can't see it at all, man. And, and John just finished the team talk, and says, ah, oh, you could be all laughing, and, you know, poor Rob. I mean, you know, <laughs> despite the fact you've had a wonderful season, you know, and you yeah. finished third in the league, and you had a fantastic season. You know, and you mentioned like, the World Cup early, earlier on, Mr. Shank, but, but Phil, you only managed one England cap. Yeah. Does, that, does that ever rankle at all now? Um, not really, no, because I think if I'd, have, if I'd never have got that one cap, I've always said that, you know, it's something you've got the one cap and they can't take that away from you. Um, whether I felt I deserved more, I, I look at the situation nowadays. Um, we had when I was playing. We had um, Ray, Ray Clements, Peter Shilton, and Joe Corrigan, and myself were the four big names in the keeper industry, if you like. Then, and when I look at that, then you know, it's basically you got no complaints because they're all great goalkeepers together. And I think looking at it now, if we'd have all been spread out in different eras, then you know, I could have gone on and got sort mm -hmm. of fifty caps. Or if I'd have been, if I'd have Scottish, been Scottish, yeah. I'd have got two hundred caps. Scottish, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, I think I, it, it, it. It never, re it never ever worries me that I never got more. But they were yeah, no good to yeah, get those caps one. anyway. You could never get them over your bar. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've one, never you got, you the get, you I'll get got more one, caps. Yeah. I've got the Cossack had one. You get one in him with the caps. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned the injuries and, and the such like, and different players being brought in, and the team's beginning to fragment, isn't it now? Because yeah. you know, I think Tony Cotty's gone off to Everton in '88, and Alan Dickens has gone to Chelsea, and Frank, you've decided to go back to Scotland. Yeah. yeah. What was the thinking behind that? I think John knew. <laughs> no, I was not doing my. John knew that Celtic was my club from 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 as long back as I could walk, and and it was a centenary year for Celtic, and uh, and when they come in, and you know, if, you know, it's great playing with the Premiership. It's great down there, but you can go up there and make your name. It's me being a Celtic supporter, I can make my name in the sort of the greatest ever year if if we do it right and, and of course I went back and we won the double so I, I made the right choice mm. I went up there and done and done got my medals and and you know and cemented my place in, in Celtic's history but it was but then came back to West Ham and it just wasn't the same team yeah it wasn't course, the same club you know, West Ham uh, eventually <coughs> would be relegated again yeah. and and John Lyle sacked I think in well, that's right. that was the biggest thing I mean he was West Ham for yeah. me well, was, well what, what, was what was the mood when John Lyle well was he sacked? was the reason that, that I came back John Lowe was the reason I came back. I could have went to Arsenal, um, who were going to win the league that year. They won the league that year. Mm. And uh, I came back for John. It was because he's just football. He was just way ahead of his time. And I, I love playing football for the guy. So, uh, in, that, in, in my opinion, I, 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 the club's never been the same no, since John never, left. Never. You know, it, you lost something. You lost mm. that mm. bit of West Ham for me. I think they lost a lot of respect as well, didn't they, the way they'd done it? The obvious, no, yeah, the yeah. obvious thing to do at the time yeah. was to put John upstairs yeah. if they wanted to get rid, get rid of him as manager, yeah. Jeff, and promote Bonzo from yeah, that within be, that to be, be the manager. Kill. That would have been the obvious thing, but we, we brought in Lou Macari, which didn't work for Lou or the club, and then Bonzo took over after that. But John okay. was outed altogether, and John, with his... He just is, you know, his whole thing about it, he wouldn't have taken that director of football job after that once they left him as manager. He was just too proud a man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think. I, I think, think if it had been done right, he could. He would have. Oh, if if, if he was bringing Bonds or Alvin or something through to to manage a club, I think he, he, he would have done that. It would have worked well. <coughs> Did it have a demoralising effect on the players? Yeah, oh, yeah, very much. So. Good, I think yeah. uh, certainly the the the, the, yeah. the more senior players who'd, yeah. who'd been with him, and I've been, I've been with him for, for ten Is that years. Me that too? You, <laughs> you were one of the senior. I was one of the senior. You still acted like yeah. a kid, but you were one of the senior players. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Thirty gain on thirty. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it really did have a, a big, big effect on us. And then obviously we we were waiting to see who who was going to take over. A lot of names were mentioned and made it. And then obviously Lou Macari comes along, who was totally the opposite to what John was. I mean, yeah. you couldn't get anyone more yeah. opposite to to John than him. And yeah. and it, it was just an eye opener to all of us. And you know, I think we just basically missed John so much. For I think he stabilised the whole thing. Yeah. But the club couldn't let him go upstairs in many ways because he had so much power yeah. you knew everything about the club mm. as to what the wages the structure everything about it he had a, 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 a finger in all the pies if you like of how it run and I think that was the big thing that the board couldn't allow him to, to, to get in even more control they should have mm. seen that as a as a real help they, they should, should have, have. Yeah. and to groom a young Billy yeah. 
well, Billy Bonds at the time, who was coming to the end yeah. of his career, yeah. to groom uh, Billy Bonds and be alongside him. Whether John would have accepted that, I'm not so sure. But that would have been absolutely perfect, Jeff, because he knew everything about yeah. football. Everything. We talked about when Frank came back. I was telling you earlier when Frank got back from Australia. Yeah. I'd, I'd gone to John to cut, a couple of weeks before that, and I said, well, I, I'm sort of big friends with Jackie and Peter Alice, and they, they organised a, a golf tournament in Marbella, a big golf tournament. And uh, a for, all for charity, and it was flying out. And they were taking Concord and everything else. And, and I said to John, you know, they really want me to go and play in it. And this is, you know, like this season. And this, the golf was on the th on the Thursday. And he says, well, when you, he said you'd be back on the Friday. I said, yeah, back on the Friday. And and he said, well, he said, look, he said you've got permission to go. We went on the Tuesday, come back on the Friday. And this is in the middle of the season. And I you just couldn't see a manager doing it now. And I, you know, if I wasn't playing in the team, it wouldn't be a problem. But he just said, well, he said, we'll tell the lads you're doing some charity work. He said, that's all they'll need to know. <laughs> Don't tell you flying out to Spain on Concord, you know, because I'll get it in the neck. And so I came back the Friday night. <coughs> Uh, I left 12 o'clock at Heathrow and Frank flew in the next morning okay. and, and we both went out and played, you know. And it, but that, that was the kind of things that we did, but I think mm. we just had such a, a great team spirit and John could see that. Uh, I know the boys of 86 meet up regularly. Mm. Uh, do you still play games together? Some. Yeah, some well, do. well, Frank, <laughs> I, I have a bit of trouble. Me and Parks are getting in the shirt now and again. <laughs> and we're not into all that shirt swapping afterwards, yeah. are we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and is it still pure football, Frank? Yeah, well, it's, it's good. We can't do a lot of running right enough. We don't. We let the yeah. ball do the we work make now. The ball work. Everything, yeah, everything's the defeat, isn't it? Everything, everything's yeah. defeat. But we have a thing at the end of the season on the West Ham pitch yeah. corporate, and and it is great fun. But yeah. we see each other loads, all yeah. of us, and we are we do remain friends to yeah. this day. And there's mm -hmm. there's a core of about seven or eight of us. So we just see each other all the time. Mm -hmm. It's uh, actually fed up with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you like the chance to take on that Liverpool side of 85, 86? Oh, it would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. What, now? I think, I think we need, yeah. need a few Zimmer frames. <laughs> 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 I, was the, I was the old man of the side, obviously. I was. I, yeah. I mean, I'm nine years older than Tony, so I think I was I was 36 at the time, when, and the, I think you were probably one of the next oldest, or I think it was Alvin. Yeah. I was only Alvin. 25, yeah. I think, well, yeah. 20, so Alvin, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Del, I, I think Deb was the next one, which yeah. was, and yeah. he was about 29, so... You know, I was basically the old man of the side. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you'd, you'd have to rule me out of that. I could manage it. I'd take John's place. <laughs> he still collects the money now, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always, they've always given me that job. <laughs> well, it was a wonderful season. And uh, Tony, Frank, Phil, really enjoyed sharing your memories. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Sport news and views at skysports.com.